So I just wanted to pop in with a little 10K month case study from my client, Jessica, who's enrolled in Sacred Leader Academy and highlight some of the key takeaways from her journey that are really imperative in building a soul aligned business. And a little background about Jessica before we dive into her story is this is not the first business program she has taken. She's actually been enrolled in at least one other business program that I know from a very well-known influencer online. She enrolled in her school, and if I mentioned the name of her school, I'm sure you would recognize probably who I'm referring to, but she was not able to get the success and results that she was looking for. It wasn't until she enrolled in Sacred Leader Academy that she was finally able to start attracting soulmate clients and build her dream spiritual business. So let's just dive into Jessica's journey. Hello, sacred leaders. So I was just on and it cut me off. So I am here again. Let's see if this goes through this time. I just want to celebrate the sale that I just made. Back in September, I hit 10K. The fact that I even did that is mind blowing to me and doing it intuitively because I did not have my course built out. This was so new. It was really a stretch for me but seeing I did it. So the thing that I wanted to highlight here is that she built the program out intuitively. And what she means by this is that she trusted the process and she did not build anything out in advance. She built the program as she went. She trusted her guidance and she released control. So in Jessica's journey, she didn't have any content built before she started generating revenue. And she actually didn't even have the name of her program before she started generating revenue. And this is important to note because so many spiritual entrepreneurs get bogged down in the details and the production side of things that it leaves so much room for procrastination and perfectionism and sabotage to set in. And so Jessica's uh, number one obstacle was really at the beginning, releasing control and surrendering to the process and allowing her intuition to guide her and trusting in her gift that she was able to do this and she didn't have to pre-plan everything, which was um, really slowing down her creative flow. So when she surrendered to this, this opened up the floodgates for her to align more with her gift and her soulmate clients. You know, and I also did hit that first time I just offered and and invited those who were already my clients and um, quite a few of them jumped on, so hit 10K. So the thing I wanted to highlight here is she was able to hit 10K without doing any organic marketing strategies, really. Just coming into alignment with her program, with her offering, with her gift, um, coming into alignment with who she's here to serve and starting to reach out to her sphere of influence. Um, So if you're watching this and you're saying, okay, well, I don't have a sphere of influence yet because you're brand new, that's totally fine. You'll see later on in the video the success that she was also able to obtain by working some of the organic marketing strategies. But if you're watching this and you do have a sphere of influence or you know, your e- your CRM system with emails and stuff that people that get your newsletter or maybe a Facebook group or something like that, then very likely a lot of your soulmate clients that are ready to buy your program could be right there under your nose. And so I just wanted to make a point about that. And... That went so well. I was engrossed in building intuitively that I could not like regulate that and then sales. Um, so I took a step back from the sales and just focused on the membership, the the individuals that I did have for my Sacred Rebels um, for the three months because it's a three month program. So that's okay. So the thing I wanted to mention here is that Jessica chose after she had her founding members going through her program and she hit her first ten k month. She decided to put her sales process on hold while she just worked with her founding members through the program, which was a 90-day program. So she just worked with them through the program, built it intuitively as she went, and she put sales on hold. This is optional. You can focus on sales and building out your program intuitively, especially because you have a scalable program, but it all is based around your schedule, your time commitments, and things like that. And so you can do it either way. So that's where my energy was. And now that it has been completed, that three month, and it's completely built out intuitively, all done, some of the individuals wanted to continue with me on the call. So I turned that into a membership. So this is something I recommend as an option for 
clients potentially if they want to extend their um, access to you to build in other streams of income based around your program that can look like a renewal package. It can also look like a passive income course. These are things that are easy to add on. So you have multiple different ways to be working with people. The options are really endless. It's as creative as you want to be. There's so many different ways. But once somebody's already used to working with you and getting value from you, there's going to be other opportunities for them to work with you that you know you may not even have thought of. And um, I always encourage adding these additional streams um, to your business model so that you can serve more people, make a bigger impact, increase your income, and all of that. And now I'm hitting the ground again with sales. In January, I've already made a sale a 3K sale because after I built it out intuitively, I doubled my price. And because I feel amazing, I love what I created and it is supportive and I know that it brings massive value to people and I feel badass in it. So that energy carrying that into my calls right now has been wonderful with the confidence that I have. But I just wanted to share that with you guys to inspire and encourage you. It's okay, so what I wanted to touch on here is that after she built her program out and she was able to work with her clients, then she increased her rates and immediately made a sale while you know moving back into the sales process. And I think at the time when she made um, these sales that she's referring to, there'll be another one right after this, she maybe had invested about $200 as far as an ad budget goes, but she grossed almost 7,000 in sales. Um, but this is because she completely aligned with the value that she brings to the table and her program and she owns it and she feels amazing offering it and she knows that it gives value. There's nothing to say Jessica couldn't have come out at that uh, price earlier on because nothing changed. Her her gift was still her gift, you know, and nothing's changed there, but she was able to gain more confidence and experience. And so that enabled her to raise her rate and get her energy behind it. Because basically you have to, you have to fully own the value of their program and you have to be able to get your energy behind it. And so everybody's process is different, but she was able to raise her rates right after her initial um, program launched and immediately close clients at the new rate. You know, uh, seeing how successful Sarah has been, I thought, okay, the, the abundance is there too. And in the midst of all this, I created a mantra that has really supported me and it's I stand forth in my abundance and call forth all and more that makes my heart sing. And that is where I've been in flow energetically. I love this because this is what I teach in one of my modules inside Sacred Leader Academy and it's the energetic alignment piece to the sales process. And she is so in flow and she is working with aligning with this mantra and really encompassing and embodying the energy of this to really come into alignment with the sales process. I like her mantra as well. I wanted to point out it was very open-ended. It wasn't even that specific. It was very open-ended. All that makes her heart sing. It was as if she was letting the universe play with her intention and shower her with whatever was going to delight her and she was releasing control over the, exactly the way it needed to look how it needed to look she was opening herself up to receive and allowing the universe to play matchmaker with her and her soulmate clients and this fine-tuned her energy even more and really got her into her empress energy, her receiving energy. No needy feminine energy. No, I need, a I need a client or I need a sale. There's none of that. It's all about embodying, um, really embracing receiving mode and allowing the universe to do its job for, you know, all the heavy lifting for you by you coming into alignment energetically with what brings you joy, who you're here to serve, what you're here to create. And so I love this piece about Jessica because if she just had all the technical pieces in line, but she wasn't energetically aligned, she wouldn't be getting the results that she's getting. So this has been amazing. This has been amazing, this call. And then another call that I had um, a couple of days ago, 
turned into another sale, but not for my program, actually turned into a higher ticket one-on-one -on -one sale because she just wanted to work with me exclusively and I didn't see that coming. And this is an individual who said she didn't need a mentor and wasn't sure and I was gonna cancel the call until we, I felt intuitively led and we went on the call and she was like, you are everything that I've needed and I didn't know. So um, listen to that intuition as well as you are connecting with individuals, even if it doesn't make sense in your head. So again, she's trusting her intuition here. She was allowing herself to be intuitively led. She had communications with this woman online and it didn't seem at first like it was a fit, but something was intuitively guiding her to take the call anyways. And so she did. And it turned out to be a soulmate client, of course, um, that turned into an exclusive one-on-one -on -one opportunity for her. And just like Sarah says, it does feel like magic. Like this felt so good and amazing right now. So I just wanted to share here that the, the soulmate client process of enrolling soulmate clients into your program feels easy. It feels fun. It feels natural. It just feels like a powerful conversation. It is not um, a sleazy sales process or anything like that. And when you are in complete alignment from start to finish with your mission, your message, your gift, who you're here to serve, your program's in alignment with not only your mission but and your message, but also you know, your lifestyle goals, you can show up energetically behind it. Um, and it's such a powerful alignment. And this, the sales calls are perfectly, you know, aligned for you with your soulmate clients. And so it feels effortless, easy and fun. It feels like meeting a soulmate, right? There's just like an instant knowing there's no sleazy sales process. So I love that um, she shared this as well. She didn't even ask for my landing page. She didn't ask for anything other than just totally took my word, said exactly what she's been looking for. She's ready. She wants to do this thing and gave me her information and that's it. So this is something I wanted to highlight that's really important. This person never asked for Jessica's landing page or website or anything like that. She was intuitively led to Jessica. She trusted her gut and she was ready to sign up and do it. She was ready to take action. She is Jessica's soulmate client and that's what it feels like. And so many spiritual entrepreneurs get caught up with all the details, like making sure they have a pretty website or a fancy dancy sales page. And I'm here to tell you that that is absolutely not necessary for you to start generating revenue in your business. And in fact, your soulmate clients, the ones that are really just like a hell yes, are not gonna care or ask for a landing page 90% of the time. Can you add a landing page or a website? Yes, you can. But what I want to stress here is that these are extra bells and whistles. They are not required. And I see so many spiritual entrepreneurs overly focusing on that as if they get the website correct and it's all pretty, then they're going to be able to build this business. And it's actually the other way around. And it was just wonderful. And it's so relieving. So you really can attract more and do less. And so what she means by being able to attract more and do less is because she is building a sustainable business model that gives her freedom and flexibility. She is not building a one-to-one -one model that just straps her for her time. She's building a freedom-based business and this allows her to show up for more people, make a bigger impact while also having a freedom-based lifestyle. Um, so yes, blessings to each of you today. Keep on in your incredible, amazing goddess badassery and showing up in both your masculine and feminine. Sending so much love to you guys. Okay, bye. And I hope this inspired you and allowed you to see what's possible for you as well. Namaste.